It's 117 AD. A man you've never met, whose seat of power is 2,000 miles away, has waged war on your people. Your soldiers put up a fight, but are no match for the Roman army. In an instant, your homeland has become part of the massive Roman Empire, and you've become a slave destined for the long journey back to Rome. They say all roads lead to Rome, and during the empire, millions of people traveled to the city. Many came as free citizens to find work, to learn philosophy, to marry. But in the first century AD, as Emperor Trajan pushed the boundaries of the Roman Empire to their greatest eastern extent, many more people arrived in Rome as slaves. Their experiences as foreigners in a new city, in a new culture, are virtually unknown to us. What was it like to immigrate to ancient Rome? Where did the people come from? Were they felled by diseases to which they had no immunity once they arrived? Were their lives significantly different from the locals? These questions are constantly on the mind of Dr. Christina Kilgrove, who has dedicated the last decade to studying ancient skeletal remains. Nearly 2,000 years have passed since millions of people made the forced journey to Rome, but until now, our understanding of the empire has depended on the historical record, which was written by wealthy, elite men. At the beginning of a new millennium, science has finally caught up with ancient Rome just as scores of skeletons have come to light in the Eternal City. Dr. Kilgrove studies the bodies of the common Romans to tease out information we can't learn through historical records or even archaeological artifacts because immigrants and slaves at Rome were made to assimilate. Dr. Kilgrove's work with chemical isotope analysis has allowed us to move past the barrier of assimilation and find immigrants buried in Roman cemeteries, people who arrived at Rome from elsewhere, and who died far from their homeland, from childbirth, homicide, and infection. Even more information about immigrants and slaves at Rome can be found in their DNA. Since this type of analysis hasn't been done before on foreigners at Rome, Dr. Kilgrove has established the Roman DNA Project and is seeking your help for the pilot phase. You're invited on a virtual journey through time, as mitochondrial DNA will reveal the origins of immigrants to Rome in the first century AD. You'll be able to follow the project's progress through an exclusive blog and Twitter feed, learning the results of the analysis in real time, and accessing unpublished photographs of Roman skeletons. 2,000 years ago, these people died in Rome, too poor to afford even an inscribed pot to mark their graves. They never would have believed the astounding advances in technology that we've made, nor that one day scientists would be fascinated by their bones. Please join the Roman DNA Project on this new adventure and help us tell the stories of the humble commoners who lived an all-too-short life in Imperial Rome.